In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options with bulk design infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, a bulb will come here and you can use this as, as an idea slide also. So when I click, you can see here the six options come with a different color combination and I have added the icons on top of that one. And when I click, it will show you the option one. You can add the detail, then comes the option two three four option five and option six so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and i have created office i have created this slide in office 2017 if you are using the older version like 2010 or 2007 then some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background in this case i have used the color combination of a light blue and dark blue then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and then go to align center align middle and shape fill you can just fill any color of your choice maybe white and for the time being i'm going to make it somewhat transparent something like this and once this is done i'm going to insert one rectangle here draw the rectangle like this you can see here again shape outline make it no outline you can make it somewhat light color and then i'm going to add one triangle right triangle so go to shapes and select the right triangle draw the right triangle something like this shape outline no outline and this also i'm going to make it somewhat transparent then rotate it you can see here i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then i'm going to make it flip vertical so once this is done let me just zoom in a little bit here and then i'm going to right mouse click edit point you can see the points here so take this point click on this one and move it something like this which should uh, you know align with the circle all right and here select this one and bring it somewhat down so you need to do some more again here all right so it looks fine for me so then i'm going to select this shape and this by holding the shift key and go to the shape format merge shape and make it union then press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and rotate it i'm going to make it flip horizontal all right and then make sure that it is properly aligned and once this is done i'm going to select all the shapes merge shape and make it union so you can see here i have got the shape of the bulb now and make this as a white color bring it somewhat top and depending on your requirement you want to make it small big you can just adjust this one so once this is done let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and then shape outline make it no outline i'm going to select the gradient fill for this one now gradient fill i'm going to select the type as linear and the first thing i'm going to make it somewhat a uh, gray color all right and then i'm going to add one more and i'm going to make it more light color and the direction i'm going to choose this one all right then i'm going to add one more where i'm going to make it somewhat dark color here and one more again i'm going to make it the same dark color and this side i'm going to make it more light color here you can see here something like this you can adjust it according to your requirement so once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and go to shape format edit shape i'm going to make it a rounded corner rectangle and make it more curved and reduce the size you can see here something like this and go to the effects shadows i'm going to give a shadow effect something like this and then i'm going to 
bring it here and I'm going to make it a curve shape you can see here something like this now only thing is which I'm going to do is I'm going to the effects again now the type you can see the direction I'm going to choose any direction something maybe this one center all right or you can choose maybe this also okay so once this is done i'm going to duplicate if you feel that one more color is missing you can just adjust it you can see here you can adjust it from this angle also so once this is done let me just increase the size a little bit and tilt it maybe this much and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to attach bring it here and one more you can see here it looks like this and then go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the trapezoid draw the trapezoid again this also i'm going to give the same color so go to home you can see here the format painter click it here and then go to shape format and i'm going to make it flip vertical and then reduce the size you can see here something like this so for this one maybe you can change the direction the way you want okay you can see here whichever direction which you feel you can just change the direction and so once this is done what i'm going to do is i can just select this one and press ctrl g to group it so you can see here the uh, shape of the bulb is ready so again i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate keep it aside and this one i can make it a transparent all right and then go to insert shapes i'm going to choose one oval shape draw the oval shape so this part i'm going to cut it you can see here so select this one and this one let me just press ctrl d to duplicate bring this aside for the future use or for the later use i'm going to select this one merge shape and i'm going to make it intersect and go to the effects and soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this the and then put it here so it gives you the glow effect all right so once this is done i'm going to select this one and i'm going to use it the other side all right so let me just make it something like this and select this one and this one more shape and subtract and this one also i'm going to give the soft edges and rotate it and put it here if you want so this will give you the the glossy effect here now let's add in the center i'm going to add uh, six oval shapes so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key something like this and then shape outline make it no outline and then you can give any color of your choice press ctrl d you can see here you can just attach it one by one and then you can just uh, later on you can just adjust it according to the requirement so you can see here i can make it something more gap all right and then i'm going to add one more and something like this and then i'm going to select this six shapes bring it in the center and then you need to align it properly because some shapes has not been or the uh not properly aligned and then i'm going to give some different color combinations you can see here any color of your choice you can choose it so let me just give uh, some random colors all right so i'm going to give this color then i'm going to give some other color like this you can just choose the color of your choice and once this is done go to insert shapes I'm going to the stars and banners and I'm going to select the six point star draw the six point star and then you can see the small orange point drag this inside all right shape outline make it white and here the dotted line I'm going to choose this dotted line and put it in the center sorry select this one put it in the center like this and rotate it all right so for each one we can add 
uh, this one so if you want you can just adjust the size depending on the requirement so you can see here like this but if it is gone somewhat so again you need to adjust it and then rotate it so that all the six points are visible all right and then i'm going to make it send back you can see here and then here this i don't want this to be visible so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d again go to shape format and going to make it a oval shape you can see here and put it in the center reduce the size so this will give you again a glow effect here you can see here and then you can add the points for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape hold the shift key shape outline no outline and give the white color so now here if you want you can take the this color or or you can just choose the white so i'm just going to keep it white you can see here press ctrl d one by one you can just uh, put these options you can see here like this so once this is done you can go to insert text box and you can just say option one i'm going to make it white font you can choose maybe oswald or any other font type and then you can add some detailed text add detail text here white font reduce the size put it here so and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate you can just add the options like this so here this one i'm going to make it right align shape format align right align and put it here press ctrl d and the last time this one here so you can see here the design is ready and on top of this one if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert and add the icons of your choice and if you like to do some basic animation you can do that as well